PS2 collection part 9, my final part of the PS2 collection for now. There's a lot more games I want to get. Uh, looking at a few games uh, that I'm trying to get down here in line. There's a couple games that I'll show later on. Haunting Ground and Rule of Rose are both uh, letting a friend borrow them. They're both great survival horrors. They're both really hard to find too. I bought uh, one a while back, uh, Rule of Rose. I bought it for 50. I don't even like around here. You can't even find it anymore. And then like uh, I see it all the time on like eBay, Amazon, going for like 39, 40. It's really worth it. It's a really great game. And then you got Haunting Ground, which is like the sequel to uh, I believe it's the sequel to Clock Tower 3, which is a fantastic game that I showed before. I'm telling you, Haunting Ground. Absolutely fantastic. You can find it if you can track it down. I've seen it on Amazon, I've seen it on eBay. But around here, you can't find the closest one. A copy around here is probably 150 miles away. So, uh, yeah, it's really hard to find. I got my copy. Actually, crazy story. I went into an EB downtown here and I was looking and I just had that on my mind. I was like, You got Haunting Ground? And he was like, Nah, man, we ain't got it. I was like, well, how can I get it? He's like, well, I guess I could, if you got it from another store, I could send it to you. So he got one from, I think it was close to Cincinnati. It came within a couple days, I guess by UPS. And I bought it for like, uh, I think it was 29 new. So it was a great deal for me. And it also might be that I've got a lot of pull at my uh, EB. I buy a lot. They know me pretty much. They know I'm a collector. They know when I go in there, I'm going to buy a bolt. So yeah, I guess that's why they treat me good. Hopefully you guys can get that with all you guys. So it shouldn't just be me. But I mean, I do appreciate what they do. Cause they, they got a rare PS2 game, like a platformer. And they know I want it and it's in good shape. They'll just hide it behind the counter until I get paid, which is awesome. I don't know if you really can do that, but they do it for me. So I can't really complain about that. I me out a lot on that. But here's the... Uh, PS2 collection, the remaining. So, uh, before I said I appreciate all the nice compliments, I was just overwhelmed with all the nice compliments on the PS2 collection. I just do it. It's, I, I love collecting games. I really get big on the PS2, Xbox, uh, trying to get more into the GameCube, 360. People are just like, wow, because I own over 100 games. But here's uh, the remaining of the part nine, and uh, here we go. Here's Shulk's Shocks. It's like, uh, I guess it's like a arcade rally game type thing. It's pretty good. It's kind of, I think it's kind of short. It's been a long time since I played it, but it's pretty good for what it is. And uh, I like him racing games. And then you got Ridge Racer 5, which, uh, by the way, I just finally bought Ridge Racer 6. I found it on uh, Amazon. I got it for, like, I think it was $19.99, brand new on Amazon. Pete Dorr said it's a great game. He told me it's a great game, so I finally picked it up. I got 5 here. And then uh, I was thinking about getting 7 at the Blockbuster deal. I've seen it up there. But I'll hold off for now because I mean, I'm a kind of a big fan for Ridge Racer. I got some of the ones on PlayStation stuff. But here's Ridge Racer 5. I like the box art, or not the box art, the uh, manual art. Here's another real good game. I bought it when it first came out. I think it was on uh, Xbox. Here's Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. Coming out with Outrun Online on the 360 arcade. I'll definitely have to check that out. Love Outrun. You got Twisted Metal Black. A freaking classic. This is a classic. I beat this a few times on story mode. It's a great game. Must have you on PS2. I love this game. I like 1 and 2 on the PlayStation a little bit more. 
but it's, it's a great game. I love the box art of the clown. You gotta love that. Super Trucks Racing, played a couple times. It's like in uh, something in the UK or something in Europe. They race with these big cat trucks and stuff. It came out with a second one. I could never find it. It was decent. Played a little bit of it. Haven't played a long, long time. Got like 15 tracks. Big time damage and wrecks. Multiple driving views. Responsive handling. Here's the back of it. Pretty good, I guess. I wouldn't mind picking up a second one. It's only like 15 if I can find it. The getaway. I want to get black money, but for some reason it's harder to find for some reason. But here's uh, the getaway on the PS2. Really fun in the UK. I really, really enjoyed that one. Go around finding uh, hidden cars or stuff. Never did find all of them. This is a classic. Need to pick up four. Well, why ain't picked up four? It's only 20 bucks now. Played a lot of this. Gran Turismo 3 ASAP. Great game. This is a freaking classic. This is a must. Best. Best simulator racer ever. So, yeah. In my opinion, that's awesome. Wild Wild Racing. Never played it. My friend gave it to me at work. And yeah, I guess it's pretty good. I don't know. It's uh, looks like it's uh, four by four off road stuff. I like. But I never played it. Thinking about it, don't even come with a manual. He just gave it to me. He said he hated it, so he just gave it to me. Added to the collection. Well, there you go, guys. That's like 212 three or PS2 games, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed the collection. And uh, I just appreciate all the nice comments and everything. I was really overwhelmed when all that, what everybody said, like all the people going back and doing their PS2 collection because of mine, because I made it. I, I appreciate that a lot. And there's a lot more I want to get, and I'll show them when I get them. And then. Uh, Next up, I got a lot of mails. 360 collections coming up right now. I got 107 games for it, and uh, yeah, guys, it's coming up next. And I'm not gonna do this eight, nine, ten thing. I'm gonna just try to knock it out in one and two, man. Cause I mean, a lot of games, and it would just take too many parts. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to knock it out one and two parts. And uh, I just want to say I appreciate the 155 subscribers up to today, and. Uh, I just appreciate you guys watching my channel, staying with me, and uh, I, it's just, it overwhelms me that you guys want to come and watch me. I know I got some nice collection stuff, and I appreciate it. I never really thought of it. It's just collect. It's what I do. It's what I love. But uh, yeah, I just I'm I'm overwhelmed. You know what I'm saying with all the support and everything. And the 360 collection is coming next. And one game I've been messing around with on the 360 before I get out of here, almost knocked it out, is Need for Speed Undercover. You guys get a chance, check out one out. It's it's a freaking class. It's awesome. I love it. Well, that's one of my 107. That's coming next. So, again, Happy Easter, everybody. And, uh... I'm going to say and watch Cleveland. They're killing the Boston Celtics at halftime. I mean, it's like 55 to 24 or something. It was the last time I checked it. And I'm watching Tiger hoping he can win at the Masters. So I'm doing that. And you guys have a good, happy Easter Sunday. And I'll talk to you next week. Have a good one.